Port Adelaide haven't ranked so well, especially with the young ruck when they've got in, so that's important. They're getting some scores from stoppages at the moment. Now, interesting, Westhoff's left Watson, and if they get it in there quickly, Watson is free, and he comes in, takes it, and Bell Chambers belts his way back to the square, and he should mark, and the rest is history. Beautifully called, Hot Out. You picked it up beautifully. You heard the uh, explanation there, Bagley. The switch going. And Hibbert needed the time to just to settle and spread a little bit. Melkson takes it, looks, didn't like Stanton. He was working, oh, he did in the end. He went for him. Corns within every step of the way, but Stanton good enough in the past was good enough. Pretty congested forward 50. Hurley demanded it. Beautiful lead. He's in a very tight spot here, though, and realises that. Looking for some tall timber. Oh, oh. Bell Chambers! <laughs> There's a bit of a message to everyone saying, well... And the Bombers need this one. It's only early. Port's lead is just nine, but a settler for Essendon. Bell Chambers has two. Pear's got a hand to it. Monfrey's in good position. Shared with Hartlett. Had to see off Dempsey. Great tackle. Fearsome stuff. Yeah, perfect tackle there from Dempsey. Just got themselves into a little bit of a pickle here, though. Heppel off the left. The game was a bit tough there. Screwed it back to the wing. Carlisle, that's Port's Carlisle. Got the fist in it. Away from Ebert. Watson quickly summed it up. Winterlick, he was running before he got the ball. The legs were pumping. He was able to get it moving. And charging through. Brilliant stuff, the Bombers. And now Heppel has to finish it. Tried to get the thread the needle with Stan. It was Comma to Melkson. And again, they're sharing pretty well. Oh, look He's it. on the end of it again. Come on, Tommy. I watched his lead nice and early, Jono. Yep. So a running goal back to the square, a screamer. Now a mark on the lead, Tom Bell Chambers. <laughs> you can't be a ruckman and do that, can you? He has! Second quarter then gets underway. Intriguing opening one. Let's see what's to come in the next 25 to 30 minutes. Heppel did a couple of revolutions and eventually got Essendon going, but not for long, or maybe it is. Carlisle, important intercept, back to Heppel again, hair flowing everywhere. Handball through Melksham, and now they're clear, Ryder, dad the pass, Windling. Fresh from three last week, we'll line them up here. Played his first game of the year in round four, and has only missed one since. Twice this year, has kicked three goals. And needs one here for Essendon, who trailed by seven. Goal umpire, didn't have to move too far. It's a goal, thumbs up. In the Joe Watson bump, nothing untoward in it. It's just a good hip and shoulder. His kick has been turned over, and the Bombers will reload again. They're just a bit off, though, aren't they? Essen and Hurley's kick. Eventually, uh, they work their way back towards half forward, and the mark taken by Comma. Good Pearl Chambers deep one on one. It was, of course, they got it to pairs before Hurley's down in the forward line. And back to Mark. Oh, beautiful kick. It was probably meant for Tommy Bell Chambers. Cut up the side of his boot, but great body use from Hurley. Well, a lot of Bomber fans think he's best place in defence. They are trying to find out if he can be a forward. Seven goals in the first month, only three since, but puts that one through. Just what they needed there back in front, Essendon. So plenty of instructions going on from the umpire. Well, he doesn't have to turn around and face the ball. He can be stand on his head if he likes. It's been a good five minutes for the Bombers. That's three. Blade have been very good at in the first quarter. Just didn't need to get into the back too hard at it. Stay on your feet, create the perfect tackle. And the entry was good from Port. Andrew Moore, you know, dropped the simplest of mark just to let them settle in this second quarter. They look really unsettled the start of this second quarter, Port. And the pairs is oh, this. up to Carlisle. And the kick, how will it sit? The race is on now. Hurley gets it. Does it beautifully. Finds some space and it kicks the goal on the left foot. Oh, that was magnificent football. Great stuff there from Hurley. And they're marching forward. Well, they were about to be marching forward again. Just a slight fumble from Heppel as Zaharak is causing all sorts of havoc. Gets it in deep again. Suited Windelick, bit of push, bit of shove. Jonas got some issues. The pressure relentless for the Bombers. Gotcha! Carlisle, fantastic stuff. And Windelick, Carlisle of Port goes hard the other way. Carlisle of Essendon. And now Goddard, great vision. He saw Heppel. 
Good tackling from Pope, and Windelick's going to shape another. That's five in 13 minutes. Two for Windelick. Reload and just get themselves going and have not been able to get their hand on the football. Maybe he is a natural forward, Jono, because he didn't handle yeah. it. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> Oops. Oh, there's a oh. massive catastrophe for Port. And look at him play on, he thought about yeah, it. Right? He thought about it. Kane Corns has been such a wonderful, wonderful player. Paddy Ryder. They have worked up a storm in this second term, the Bombers, for six consecutive goals. And a lead of out now to 31 points. He's direct opponent was Kyle Hooker. He but has other, to go and engage him. The other disappointing thing as well is the last kick just before half-time was exactly the same. So, therefore, they just haven't... They might, would have assessed things at half-time. They just didn't change it. Comes Zaharakis' way in the end. Short to Bell Chambers. Windelick's in the square, waiting for the release. He's chased. In fact, he didn't have to move. He did not have to move. Well, it started with Kyle Hooker again, but it was a great ball movement from the Bombers. And all Justin Westhoff did was half lead. If you're half lead on a guy like that, you'll say, you don't want the ball, I'm going to get it. Windelick, careful kick, does the job. Another one to Jason Windelick. Just settled the last five minutes here, the Bombers. So Pears goes out to Fletcher. You can see Fletcher trying to kick around the body. Look at the kick, it's an absolute cracker. What a beauty. So Windelick, who ran to the space and allowed the veteran defender to kick it straight to him. Good now the bombers are going. Yeah, good running through the midfield. Goddard looks up, decides to go long and strong. And Essendon have got the right position oh. here. Stanton used his body beautifully against Corn. Corns, it was a beautiful kick. Mm. Brent Stanton hasn't been able to get any purchase on the two kicks he's had in this quarter. He just nurses it through. Beautiful kick. And that is a badly needed goal for the bombers. No free kick. Big five minutes, Hutto. Oh, no doubt about that. The crowd can sense it too. They'd love to jag one right here, right now. Howlett. Well, that's the one they needed, Spud. The two behinds, one of those from Monfries, which was a big clanger. So back in the centre. Zaharakis again. Stanton got the kick out, so he's starting to go a bit. He's warmed that leg up. Oh. Oh, beautiful play from Comer to Hurley. Open goal. Bombers kick three on the trot to go to a 24-point lead. Set of clearances. This game right in the balance at the moment. Bombers by 17 points. So Broadbent from full back decides to go right down the middle. Fletcher just lurking, big thump by Paddy Ryder, was good to Stanton. Off one step and one leg, and Stanton nails it, kicks it 55 metres, and that's why he stayed on the ground. That is a courageous effort. Good defence. He's got the numbers, Hibbert at the back. Kicks it to centre-half, what stays up in here a long time. Oh, oh, good staff. Dyson Heppel, fantastic play. He's he in a bit of trouble. He didn't look too good running off, King. Kevin I there, Kingy, but uh, Ebert, one of the stars of this Port Adelaide side, one of the stars of the competition. Mine's down at the moment. It's down there from fire going left, right, centre. Zaharakis fires and hits the spot. Zaharakis kicks a big goal. So, Carlisle, Port Adelaide have looked the goods this quarter. They just can't get it a major on the scoreboard. Bombers. Heppel has been fantastic. Gets the ball working to Pears. Pears lines it up, kicks to the front of the square. Up they there it is. Oh, up, drop the mark. Off hands. Got out this time. Goal! Got out, kicks the goal. Bombers grabbed the game by the scrub of the neck. So we've seen Port plays away from the boundary line in the last quarter. So it's Paddy Ryder. He's going to roll it up, set it to full forward. Can they get another mark to Tommy Bell Chambers? Well, he gave away a goal 15 minutes ago, Hutto. He went to the bench. The suspected broken collarbone. It's been a mighty effort by the Bombers. Three goals, one for Bell Chambers to put the game beyond doubt.
Brendan Goddard's got the angry pills at the moment. I tell you what, a five-goal win will be an absolute ripper for the Bombers. They've got a minute 15 to kick a goal. They lead by 24 points. With all the things going against them today, this will be a great victory. Another one in season 2013 for this football club that is under siege. And who's got it? Just to ice the cake in round 15, but Tommy Bell Chambers lining up. It's why we come every week. If we knew what was going to happen, no one would turn up. It is the most unpredictable of games. And Tom Bell Chambers comes in, lines it up, and puts it straight through the middle. His fifth goal, and the Bombers win by those five goals. He has run himself into the ground. Ryder flicks it up over the top. Five seconds. Can they steal one right at the last gasp here? Port Adelaide. It won't be enough. Wingard finished with the ball. But what a win it has been for Essendon. Once again, backs to the wall. The Bombers prevail at Etihad Stadium. An exhaustive afternoon, Jono, in many ways. They've lost their captain, Joe Watson, for we don't know how long. But a wonderful win. And it's, we've said it so often this year with Essendon. What a year that's all with the backdrop. We know all that's been going on. Yet on the field...